Welcome to another Unturned video. Today we're going to continue on the LDG server and we're going to duo with a friend, merge all of our loot together and then we're going to probably become the richest duo on the server by doing horde beacons, PvP and also a ton of raiding. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Buwak videos, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe as well if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and it is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one which is a bubbling headdress. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed comment something below. Today's video is sponsored by Chef Games. Chef Games is a platform where you get to play hundreds of games. It is very easy to sign up, subscribe and start playing. The interface is super user friendly and very easy navigation. They have regular updates and additions to the game library, keeping the games fresh and exciting. There's a huge variety of games with multiple genres including survival games, strategy games, action, PvP, battle, first person, third person and much much more. Some games including Sheltered, Overcooked 2, Neon Abyss, The Night Twitch, and much much more. This website also has a game library which lists all of the games that you have downloaded. For just $6.99 per month you can get all of this, the link will be in the description below and thanks Chav Games for sponsoring this video and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are back on my server, on the LDG network, Boak. Now, what we're going to do today is I am actually not going to be solo. I am going to be duoing with a friend of mine. This is basically all of the loot that I logged off with. Yeah, I'm currently in no group. Let's see what... I have my vault completely empty as well. I'm just gonna put them there. But yeah, I'm gonna duo with a friend and I'm gonna move all of my loot towards there. I'm kind of surprised how I am actually unraided yet. Because I did publish that video. I'm gonna use my vault link as well. You guys can have this vault for free if you just link your Discord to the steam basically but yeah, i'm super surprised that i'm not raided i posted that video nobody raided me yet but as soon as people realize i'm in the server i'm probably gonna get heavily door camp and i don't want that so i'm gonna move to a friend's base and we're gonna merge all of the loot together i will salvage all of the titanium so i'm gonna wait for him to join and in the meantime i'm gonna take all of the important loot into my inventory and into my vaults and as soon as he is in we will tpa and start placing everything over there now apparently this guy has been teaming he has like like a five-man team but it's just gonna be me and him today and they have been grinding for a ton so we may actually do some raiding today also gonna take all of the kaka from my crates i think i can actually stack it let's salvage stuff we don't really need like clothes but yeah if you guys do want to play on the server the ip and the port will be in the description below i do play a lot here obviously since they're my servers so it'll be nice to see you guys over here as well as for blueprints still now what we have is an eagle fire blueprint and we also have pistol ammo blueprint other than that then we just have a bunch of low tier blueprints but as for high tier that's what we have till now today i will try to learn more if we get research kits i will try to learn other guns maybe gas mask as well and filters so yeah that's the plan for today all right so i have tpa'd so my teammate i'm in their group yeah they've been farming a lot they have so much food man this is insane i'm gonna take some and i'm gonna just munch on their berries Alright, so this is not even their main base. They have built like a farm. Their main base is over here. I have moved some of my loot already. I'm gonna show you guys their base though. I'm gonna give you a tour. Basically over there is an airlock. They have some titanium crates. A bunch of guns as well. They have a lot of normal crates. And in here is where the gunpowder is. It's honestly insane. It's quite a lot. But yeah, I'm still moving my loot. There's shots outside my base. But yeah, so on the server we have TPA whitelist. Which you can TPA instantly. Which is a very cool feature. Oh, there's a guy, yeah. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I'm dead. There's another dude. Alright, TPA'd. I'm gonna do kit linked, which gives you a typewriter now. Alright, one of them is dead. Other dude is dead. Uh, I told you guys, as soon as people figure out, I'm gonna get door camped, man. So that's why I'm moving. Right, they did bring us quite a lot of loot, though. Oh, biohazard, yeah, I think this was my loot pile. Let's take all of this loot. And we'll go back inside our base. The problem is I gotta have to salvage all of the titanium parts, man. And that could be quite annoying if there are gonna be people door camping me and all of that. But we'll try to do it as quickly as possible. But yes, this server has TPA whitelist. Basically, if I do TPA whitelist mark... As soon as Mark TPAs to me, I don't even have to accept. It's a feature we have on all of the servers. Obviously, you can blacklist as well if somebody TPAs. It doesn't work. Alright, so I'm gonna drop loot for my teammate to pick up so that he can take it to his base. And I'm just gonna salvage all of the items. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything important out here. Yeah, there's a bunch of meds, basically. Yeah, more meds. There's a filter here. We'll take that, definitely. Alright, so I'm currently cooking all of the meat that I have. I guess we save a bit more space. Honestly, I don't know. But yeah, we're salvaging all of the ores as well. Everything have, has got to go, man. Oh, and I shot that by mistake. Alright, so we're back. Moving all of the loot. 
Pretty sure those guys are still Godor camping, by the way. I don't think they have any raiding gear, though, thankfully. We only still have a few items to move, and then we'll be done. We don't have that much. Alright, so I should have salvaged everything. Yeah, we're done. This TPA whitelist is so cool, man. If it doesn't accept, I still TPA. It's probably one of the nicest features. It should be added on all unturned servers. But yeah, I've moved pretty much everything. I don't think there's anything important in my old base anymore. Problem is, we don't have that much space, man. We could put the crates back here. Alright, so we are done. My base. No, I will probably never go to my base. I did also move the bed. I did leave some loot there, but nothing that important. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go do a dead zone run. We both have gas mask. We both have filters. So that's our first plan. I kind of forgot to bring an umbrella. But it's fine. I'll just jump down and we'll med up, yeah. Now, afterwards, we do plan on raiding. We do have items to raid with. Our teammate does have a detonator, which is really good. That's something I didn't have. We do have a lot of gunpowder. I think the only thing we need, yeah, electronics. Electronics is probably the hardest item to get because you would need 20 electronics for one C4, which is a lot, man. So we're gonna loot berry wood. We're gonna break every single PC, laptop that we find or radio because those can drop electrical components. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a lot. Oh, there's a guy on top of the police station. Headshot. Oh, he has actually stacked. All right, well. Yo, he has pizza! Two gas masks? Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, he has a lot of food. We're probably gonna leave a lot of the items here and he can come back and get it. We'll take the important stuff, to be honest. And the guns, obviously. I don't want him to kill us later on with the same gun that we leave. Uh, gas masks are big, though. Yeah, electrical components. Nails. So we're looting all the houses. My teammate has a horde, by the way, but we shouldn't do it now. He gave it to me and it's in my vault. I've never done a horde in a survival server before, I just know what it can drop. But I don't know the differences between two players and one player. There's a guy there. He's dead. I think he was just chilling on a bike, man. As soon as he TPAs, it scares me, man, sometimes. Oh, he didn't have anything, poor guy. Alright, we got ourselves a guy, a car battery that gives us a lot of batteries and metal. But other than that, he didn't have anything. Once you get the auto gun and block, man, you can get... like It's so much easier to kill people. Alright, that dropped the cot, we don't need that. Later, we may also break some big man lockers, too. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he's running away from me. He's dead. He came out of nowhere. And he's stacked, he has a lot of metal. Green revolver with a makeshift silencer. Bro, the makeshift silencer actually looks kind of cool. Alright, let's take all of the metal. Metal, very important. He has some ammo as well. Alright, that's pretty nice. But we're not even in the dead zone yet, and we've got a lot of loot, man. I'm not gonna have space for the dead zone. Oh, my teammate killed somebody. Oh, there's another dude. Oh my god, we just found ourselves a live base. And they are stacked. Do they have zoo back? Typewriter, biohazard clothes. Oh, we need to actually leave. We need to take loot and get out of here, man. They're gonna keep coming back. Oh, my teammate is... I killed my teammate. I killed him. Yeah, my teammate is back. He's right over there. Oh, he's dead. I'm scared I'm gonna run out of ammo. They're coming back. He's dead. Alright, my teammate is looting. I'm gonna cover him. I did take one of the Zubaks. Zubak, very good gun, man. It has probably the best gun. My teammate killed him. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, this is actually really bad. I'm back. Alright, I picked up Nitrate there. He's dead. Let's take loot. This is their loot. I'm gonna take their loot, obviously. He's coming out. Dead. Let's take my loot next. Let's take that Ego Fire, bro. He's coming out. He's dead. I'm out of ammo. Hold on, let's switch to zoo back. I'm gonna pick loot. Alright, my teammate needs to hump, so I'll TPA to him. Oh, they're coming out. I hear them. And they close the door. Alright, we are back. Alright, well, I think I actually lost some loot, but my teammate got a lot. We did get a lot of guns. The things I lost were the gas masks. But I did get nitrate there, another Eagle Fire, Zubeknokov. I got full biohazard and full riot. I did not have that. I got another riot helmet there as well. Now, also something else in the server is that if you kill somebody, you will get bonus HP. So if I killed somebody and I was at 30 HP, I will get more HP. So I will get like 30 more HP, which will lead me to 60 HP. It's uh, another feature we have on PvP servers. Alright, boys, it is dead zone time. We're checking all of the containers to see if there are any electrical components. Because apparently they spawn here, but it seems like that is not the case. So I'm just gonna go straight to level 2, I'm not gonna bother with level 1. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get biohazard clothes. It's a full moon as well, man. Alright, so I do have some backup filters, obviously. I did bring a makeshift silencer with me. I'm gonna use that, it looks pretty cool. I brought the zoo back as well. 
Alright, so there are three loot rooms. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves guns. All I need is guns and explosive ammo. I've also recommended to Toothy that we have ourselves blueprints, high tier blueprints spawn over at the dead zone. And they did actually implement that. So that is very, very epic. I recommended Gosmos can filter blueprints. But I would love to perhaps even in the future they add uh, blueprints, for example, for pistols and that sort of thing. Uh, let's kill these zombies. Let's just shoot them down. I also did recommend that, that the helmets get their face shield risen up and they did add that as well. That's another recommendation that I said that was actually added so that is very very epic. From this we got ourselves a bunch of ammo, two riot vests, zoo back, a bunch of attachments. I don't think we got any explosive ammo though, chevron scope that's pretty nice. Hey, we're getting ammo as well because we're gonna do a horde beacon very soon. I right, switch the attachments a bit. There's another gauss mask there that's really good. That can act as another filter. Let's kill the zombie. There's more. Right, so there should be another loot room in here, yep. Let's right, pray we get ourselves even more better loot. So now it seems like attachments and ammo. Oh, another zoo back. That's lovely. It's an Avenger Cobra Python. More ammo. Riot vests. Alright, not too bad. Let's pick all of the items up. We got ourselves an Oak Bear as well. We really need zoo back and Ego Fire magazines because that's what the guns that we are using. Right, let's check out the final loot room. There's a shadow zombie, let's kill him. Alright, drop the magazine. Oh, Ego Fire. Oh, that's pretty good. Avenger, Pistol Ammo. Yeah, these don't really have anything that good. Another Warden. Alright, not too bad. Pretty good loot run, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoa, Swift Magazine just spawned. That's really good, I can learn that. I got 400 explosive ammo and base for the pistol. So finally we got the magazine. Alright, so we're gonna place the heart beacon on top of this building. I think it's a pretty safe location. Now I only have a knife and the zoo back, but I can maybe do kit linked. Let's see how many times we have to hit him to die. Oh, three hits. Alright, that's not too bad. Right, so zombies spawn up here, I actually did not know that. Which can be quite deadly, but yeah, we're gonna do the heart beacon. Hopefully good loot, hopefully we don't die. Hopefully nobody tries to counter it, man. Because if somebody does try to counter it, I'm gonna be very upset. Alright, well, the Horde Beacon is done. Oh, there's a lot of load, actually. Oh, I already see Timberwolf. Oh my god. Bro, there's Dynamite. Research kits. Yeah, Timberwolf is a lot of ammo. Sentry Guns, Night Trader, Night Trader Explosive, Monster Keys. Wow, that's pretty good. I didn't think we would get this much load, though. I didn't think we would even get this load. I thought we were just gonna get, like, pistols and monster keys, man. Alright, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, my vault is full. I'm gonna put the dynamite, though. Oh, wait. Oh my god, wait, what? Got it from the heart beacon. I don't think we should use a charge for a big man. I think we should just use explosive ammo. Because a charge is, you know, we could raid a base with that. And get pretty good loot. This we can just get a research kit and a gauss mask, basically. So yeah, let's just use explosive ammo. I'm pretty sure I have... Uh, I have Timber Wolf, so let's use that. Bro, I wanna vault stuff. Let's vault dynamite the charge, obviously. Where's the detonator? Bro, am I blind? Oh, uh, broke. Yeah, wait, monster key, research kit, gauss mask, bones. Alright, research kit is always nice. We could learn some guns. Alright, so our next step is we're gonna go look for base raids. We have a ton of explosive ammo, we got ourselves a charge. I'm pretty sure we can even craft more, because we got one just from a horde beacon. Now we're gonna go check out where my base was. I think we could start over there looking for raids, because I'm pretty sure people built around me as well. So let's head over there first. Alright, so I just found this base at the edge of a cliff. So I got, I should make myself a ladder, yeah. Right, let's put that over there. Now I brought myself a stone roof from base, we could just put that there, and we'll raid over here. Because completely around is just stone, and with stone we obviously need more. Let's take the charge and the detonator from our vault. Hopefully it takes only one C4. Alright, so I gotta salvage this because I don't want it to accidentally break, even though it shouldn't. But at the same time, we gotta claim the C4. Now we're gonna fall off, let's TP8 some mark, there we go. Now we back up, let's hope for some good loot, man. Alright, yes, it, it did br I see loot. Alright, it's good. Now we place the roof again. And it looks like a bunch of arrows. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty bad. There's some pistols. This is definitely not profit. I think arrows are pretty good though, but yeah, we don't need them. Let's take the electrical components though. That's always good. I don't think we should continue raiding inside though. Probably gonna take everything, salvage them. Electrical components are always nice to have. We do need a lot of them, to be honest, for C4. I, mean, I think we need to grind for more. Now, the tarp, we can take it because we can get ourselves a lot of rope with that. We just salvage it into cloth and then we can make it into rope. Alright, boys, so, update. Time to craft ourselves another charge. 
take so much, man. We would need uh, so much dynamite and gunpowder to do it. It's honestly insane. All right, so next we're just gonna probably look around uh, for another insane base raid. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a good one next because that one was a bit was a bit mid. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we did find a base. It is claimed so we're building ladders to go on top. But it's a bit of a pain. Base seems a bit promising as well. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. I can't do this, man. I placed the ladder a bit too high up now. I can't replace it, obviously. Maybe if we go on the other side, then maybe we can actually do it. Now, I don't have an umbrella. My teammate does. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's the base over there. It's partially wood and partially stone. Hopefully, he should do it with the umbrella. Yeah, he should do it, definitely. As soon as he lands on my TP. All right, there we... Oh, I fell. Let's TP back. All right, so let's put... One of the C4. Now we have two because we did manage to craft another one. But obviously, hopefully, this one will be enough. I actually placed that a bit incorrectly. So let me salvage it and place it better. We'll raid the middle one. Hopefully, it will damage as much as possible. Let's just hope and pray it does. Let's go to the corner. Yes, sir, bro. All right, I see loot already. And yeah, there's a claim flag here. All right, let's check out the loot. Uh, Jimmy rifle. It's pretty good. Crossbow, master key, some pistols. Explosive magazine, explosive box, bunch of iron, paracords, uh, gun parts. That's really nice as well. I could just punch these. Bunch of food. There's a bunch of minerals as well. Electrical components, lovely. We need that. More gun parts, Jimmy rifle ammo, electrical wires. There's a wolf corpse, Santa hat. Got myself one of the recordings as well. Uh, as, as for the rest, there's just a bunch of. Uh, junk but pretty nice we got ourselves a lot of uh, explosive ammo which is always good and all this pyromorphite we can take it and we can obviously sell it but we probably won't i started destroying the claim flag probably may take a while but let's destroy it anyway all right so we've just found ourselves another base there is a goat in there how the hell is there a goat there bro the owners just they have a pet in here all right, and the pet is dead. Right, we should probably raid this. It doesn't seem that small. So we may try this one. And then we wouldn't have any more raiding gear though. We can perhaps use explosive ammo actually. And with explosive ammo with the amount we have. We should be able to raid this base. So we could give it a try. Alright so my teammate came back from base. We're gonna use explosive ammo. I got revolver. My teammate has Zobek. Hopefully we'll raid it soon. Probably will take us a while though to be honest. But we have a lot anyway. So we should be all good. Bro, another goat spawned. What? Oh, that's a goat spawn. That's why there was a goat. Yeah, we're through. RD titanium stack. There's a bunch of crates. That's really good. Two claimed beds. Two goat corpses. Bro, these guys would have had a goat farm if they just keep killing them over and over. Oh, he's breaking them. And a bunch of pyromorphite, a leather. Dude, they have so much pyromorphite. You don't need this much, man. Gunpowder, cherry seed. Oh, yeah, this is a pyromorphite base raid. Oxygen tank, that's that's nice. Oh, we could salvage all of these. They could be quite useful. Looks like there's a bunch of coal, charcoal, polymer. A bunch of oak bears. Titanium, they have one titanium. But my teammate did take a stack. Oh, okay. Three stacks of titanium. Lovely. And I'm pretty sure I can make another stack. That's really, really good. We can make a horde. Yeah, we can definitely make a horde, actually. That's probably what we're gonna do very soon, then. There's still a bunch more crates here. There's a bunch of nodes as well. A bunch of minerals. Alright, that broke. That didn't have anything. Oh, those were empty. Okay. There's a bunch of bones. Let's break these. The final two. Oh, a bunch of tarp. Nails. Base parts. Electrical components. And this one, yeah, a bunch of more materials. Even more electrical components, electrical wires. Alright, not too bad. The titanium is really, really good. Plus, we did get some gunpowder in return, a bunch of materials. So not that bad, man. So all of the goats, I'm gonna make them into trophies. I'm gonna do a goat head collection. Alright, yeah, we're done with the trade. We're probably gonna take everything and just salvage them. Alright, boys, it is time to do our second horde beacon. Hopefully, it will go as well as the first one, to be honest.
My heart beacon is done. This one took way less time than the first one. Let's hope we get ourselves some good loot. 1c4 would be perfect, to be honest, or even more. My teammate even got a detonator from that, I think. All right, go in. Let's close the door. I think this is a very good location as well, where I put the horde. Right, let's see. And we got ourselves... Oh, there is 1c4 there, lovely. A bunch of research kit, three in total, a bunch of guns, a bunch of explosive ammo. Yeah, this one's pretty good as well. I like this one. Right, I'm gonna put the charge in vault. Now we have 2c4. Bunch of magazines, man. We have so much. Right, so my teammate is raiding a big man locker. Alright, let's help him out. We got ourselves quite a ton of mags. Oh yeah, I am out. Never mind. Yeah, that's a key to go fire. I can use this though. Yeah, broke and three gauss masks, two filters, pristine gun parts, and a civilian vest. Alright. Alright, so I think we just found uh, a fake raided base. This part of the base isn't even raided. The other part is completely raided, but this part is n is literally untouched. Also, they have lemons with uh, very uh, sus shapes. Alright, we could maybe raid there. Now oh, my teammate is telling me not. I need to check actually. Yeah, it's completely unraided at this part. The other part is raided. Alright, let me actually, let me actually check. Yeah, down here it's unraided, but over back here. I mean, we're just gonna give it a try. If it's gonna be empty, then screw it. At least we still have one more charge. Oh yeah, I'm right. Dude, there's there's a bunch of crates over there. Oh my god, there's so, there's so much. Yeah, there's down there as well. Yeah, we found ourselves a fake crated base. There's titanium. So much crates. Jesus. There's so much loot. Alright, let's eat all of this. I was literally dying. I broke some of the crate. We still have another charge. We could break all of them with just one charge, probably. I'm gonna place it on titanium. I think it's better. I think with this explosion, everything is gonna break, to be completely honest. Oh yeah, he took the titanium. Good idea. Alright, back up. Hopefully it will be... Yeah, we broke every- Dude, there's so much loot. Bro, look at all of this. Alright, sentry gun, nitrate, there with explosive mag, a bunch of ammo. There's so much minerals. Another nitrate, there it's timber wolf. Electrical components. Iron for days. Firework. Gunpowder. Gauss mask. Oh my god, there's so much, bro. Alright, this is a- This is a good raid. We finally found ourselves a really good one. Bunch of iron. Explosive ammo. Filter. Biohazard clothes. Yeah, these guys are stacked. Bunch of magazines. Middle scrap. Research kit, that's big. Another research kit. I've already researched some items, by the way. I've researched Zubek and Nitrate Day. Electrical components. Let's check down here. Blueprint book. Titanium. Blueprint frags. Double your raid, double your raid. It was so suspicious as well. Like, there were a bunch of random junk here and there inside the raided part of the base. Alright, let's take that. Electrical components. Blowtorch. A bunch of ammunition batteries. Even more electrical components. There's so many electrical components, bro, thank god. Yeah, they don't have raiding gear, though. I'm pretty sure they logged off with it. Or it's in their vaults. So imagine what they logged off with, man. And there's diamond as well, I'm pretty sure. Well, alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you guys do want to see more Buak videos like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to play on the server, feel free. The IP and the port will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.